Hello, Anime Nyan here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to import Survivor and Killer Charms from Dead by Daylight into Blender. So this is going to be a more advanced tutorial, and it assumes that you've already imported a character in. If you don't know how to import Dead by Daylight killer, killers and survivors into Dead by Daylight, please watch one of my other videos that will be in the description below. Let's have a quick, quick preview of the final result. Okay, so basically we can see that the charm is working nicely for the injured stand run animation. So the standing run animation, you can see it's working fine as well, which is very good. And then we have the uh, sit on log animation. So we can see that it's working just fine as well. Okay, as we can see, um, the, uh, the charm doesn't look like it's uh, clipping very badly. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So I'm not gonna go through how to import the survivor or anything, or the prerequisites, because I'm gonna assume that you have all the prerequisites installed. Okay, so first off, we're gonna go to U-Model, okay? So uh, just download it and install it in the description below. And let's start off by going to Dead by Daylight. So basically just go to Steam and just click on this cog, click on the library and click on Dead by Daylight and just go manage, browse local files, okay? So from here, you'll be in this folder here. So just click in an empty space in this, uh, uh, in this browser right here and you'll see you, you highlight that. Now press control C to copy that address bar that you've highlighted. Okay, from there, we're gonna put it into U model and override game detection for 4.25. Okay, press okay. Okay, so remember that game characters is where you find um, all the, the survivor meshes and animations, and then slashes is where you find the killers and their animations and models. Okay, but what we want here, uh, so if we just look at a quick preview of the FAQ, so if you wanna join the Discord link in the description below, there's this uh, Dead by Daylight Discord, which has all these FAQs. So let's have a look down at question, let's have a look at where are the uh, charm meshes. They're under game meshes, charms, models. Okay, so let's have a look. So in particular, let's have a look at uh, games, meshes, uh, charms, models, okay? So what we wanna look for is the chains. So the chain is actually the, the chain of it. Um, the chain is actually the this part. So let me just go into the folder. And as you can see, I double clicked on there and we have this chain here. So just talk, it's talking about that chain. I press O again to exit it. And I go survivor charms. So we're gonna look for this one right here actually. So you can see we're gonna use this one. So we're gonna go tools, export current object. And I'm just going to make a new folder here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go new folder and I'm going to go uh, call this survivor um, charms tutorial. Okay, and I'm just gonna select this folder. I'm gonna press okay. So I exported this uh, mesh here uh, in model. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to um, Aman because I know that this is where the moderator charms. So this is a moderator, Dead by Daylight moderator. I pressed O again to exit. Uh, and also this is a translator. Um, I press O to exit that. I can double click on here and you can see this is the Fog Whisperer, the famed Fog Whisperer charm. So let's go tools, export current object and export this to the tutorial folder. Actually, I forgot to export the animations as well, which is why I need to go to characters, campers, and I need to get the animations to test this because it doesn't matter um, if we think it looks correct on the, on the current model, when it's during animation, it can look different. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Game, Characters, Campers, Feng, Animation. And I'm gonna export the sit on log animation because this is one of the best uh, animations to test if the skeleton is doing fine. Okay, so we're also gonna to go to Common because a lot of the uh, animations are shared. So I'm gonna go into the Animation folder. And because this is a female survivor, I'm gonna go female. But if this was a male survivor, I would use the male folder. So I'd open up the male folder. But obviously, Feng is a female, so we're gonna use the female um, folder. So we're gonna open up the anima sequences folder, and I'm gonna go down here to locomotion. So locomotion is what about what you expect, it's about moving. So I'm gonna look for um, F stand run. So F stand 
uh, run, okay? So this is a run animation. This is probably where the uh, survivor meshes are gonna break the most. So I'm gonna click on that here. I wanna press export and press okay, cool. So that's the locomotion done. I also wanna take maybe the injured locomotion. So I'll just go down and F, um, let me just go with F injured stand run. Okay, and I'll also export that as well, just for the purposes of testing basically. So I'm gonna create, uh, open a new Blender uh, file, and I'm going to use my Fang default packed. Okay, so I've already done this Fang model. And yeah, so what I'm going to do from here, so this is actually in the, will be a link in the description below if you really uh, wanna download it or anything and you don't know how to do this, uh, but watch one of my previous tutorials on how to make this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to uh, import, go to the PSK, PSA, import here. So I'm gonna press N to open up this properties panel. Okay, and I'm going to go uh, set this on the setting of all. So the first thing we need to import is just the, um, so if we go to the tutorial folder, we need to import the chain. Because if we don't import the chain, it's not gonna work. Okay, I know this from prior testing. So I'm gonna go to charms. Um, so I went game, meshes, and I went charms, and then I went to models, and then I went to chains. So we need the chain first. Okay, and you wanna import this on the setting of all. Okay, so it's right here, and you might be like, where is this uh, chain mesh? It's actually on the side right here, okay? It's really, really small, but it's this mesh right here. Okay, so that's good. Now, the second thing we need to import is just the, um, is the, so we wanna go back in the folder, and we wanna go to the game, meshes, charms, models, uh, charms, Oman, universal charms, to import this, Thing right here. As you can see, they're huge as, um, just because, I don't know why, uh, but yeah, they're just very huge. Um, we're gonna have to scale this one down, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do is select both of these meshes with a shift key. You can see I selected both of them. I right click, shade smooth. So that fixes the first problem. Now we just need to load everything to it. So load the textures to it. So we're gonna go to the load UE shaders panel. Remember, press N to open the properties panel. And what we wanna do is use the DVD Pit Princess generic preset. And we wanna use this second option here, add shader map to all materials on selected meshes. So I'm just gonna press add shader maps. Oh wait, sorry. I need to select the correct exported game folder. So let me just click on this thing right here. Okay, to select the exported game folder. And I'm gonna to go to uh, Blender Projects the Survivor Charms tutorial inside this game folder. Can you see how this is a common mistake, but you need to be inside this game folder, not any deeper, just in this Survivor Charms tutorial game folder, okay? Now press accept and press add shader maps to all selected meshes. You can see that's brilliant, that's looking beautiful. And let's also select this chain here, this chain mesh, and press add shader maps to all selected meshes. So as you can see, it kind of has a chain there as well. Okay, so what we're gonna do here from here is I'm gonna select this charm here, and I'm just gonna scale it. So I'm gonna select this charm skeleton. So you can see I've pressed to open this uh, skeleton thing, and it's not this mesh here. I'm talking about the skeleton itself. So you wanna select it in the outliner right here. Now press S key, the S key to scale it down. Okay, so we're gonna scale it like right down. It really depends upon you because they didn't have the correct scale. I don't know why they didn't have the correct scale, but that's okay. Um, we can fix it ourselves. Okay, so from here, Click on the skeleton, remember the skeleton, which is the, that has the man um, on the left side, uncharms 3 refao And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add an object constraint. So I'm gonna add a copy location constraint and I'm gonna target FMD skeleton ref. Um, what you need to do is you need a few skeletons first. So let me just press the N key and remember, so you need to install the few skeletons plugin. I'll put it in the description below as well. Um, Anyway, so first of all, you select the survivor charm, uh, chains, then you select the body, second, okay? And then you go to this few skeletons plugin. Remember by pressing N to open up the properties panel. Now I need to fuse to the base skeleton, to FMD skeleton ref, and I press this button to fuse skeletons. Okay, so now we can actually do the thing. So now we can click on this um, chain here, and what I'm gonna do here, the chain, the, sorry, not the chain, the charm skeleton, not the mesh. I'm talking about the charm skeleton. 
and I attach it to the bone uh, chain AO1. Okay, so chain BO1, so I just type in chain and chain AO2, sorry. Wait, actually, they're both okay, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna go with chain AO1 then. Chain AO1. So you can see it's uh, put it in correctly. So from here, what I'm also gonna do is also add an object constraint, copy rotation. Okay, I'm gonna add FMD skeleton ref, so the base skeleton, and I'm gonna add it to chain AO1. Okay, so this is correct now. So you'll see, you'll see it's in the wrong rotation. That's okay, so we'll adjust it downwards. But we also need to scale this down a little bit more. So let me scale, uh, select the skeleton, and let me just scale it down. Let me scale it right down. Maybe to that side, size, yeah, that looks good. Okay, maybe even size it down a little bit more by pressing S. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, probably around that size. Okay, that seems right. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is this one right here, um, it needs to kind of fit, um, it needs to, so we can actually move these. So what I'm, I'm gonna do is gonna press G, I'm gonna press um, R, okay, I'm actually gonna, first of all, I'm just gonna um, go edit operator search or menu search, and I'm gonna go uh, origin to origin to geometry, okay? So it will put the thing right here. So that will make your rotating a lot easier. So I'm gonna go R, Z, R, X. Okay, no. So R, X means to rotate in the X axis, as you can imagine, R, Y. Okay, that's better, but R, Z, yeah, okay, cool. R, Z to rotate in that axis there. And let's just move it upwards, actually. So I'm just gonna move this until it's relatively right. Okay, and R, X, R, R, Z, uh, whoops, R, Y. Okay, that's better. Okay, R, Y it, okay, and I'd say that's good enough. Okay, that's good. Okay, so from here, we can actually fuse these together to be one mesh. So I'm gonna shift select, so select this one first and shift select that one, press control J. Okay, that's good enough for me. Okay, so from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move it down, okay? So I'm just going to move this down, so select this mesh here. So I press control J to fuse them into one mesh. So you can see they're one combined thing. So it goes together. Now I'm just gonna move it down to where I think it should be. I'm gonna rotate it first actually. So I'm gonna press RZ to rotate it like that and RX to rotate it downwards and RY to rotate it outwards. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring it down to where I think it should be. Okay, yeah, and RZ, RX, RY. Okay, so I'm just testing out basically where I think it should be. Whoops, I pressed hide, so control Z. Um, yeah, that looks good actually. Let me just R, Z, or R, it, R, yeah. So I rotated it like that. So yeah, that looks fine to me. Okay, so yeah, let, now let's test it out with some animations. Just make sure that it's all working fine. But that's pretty much done. So I'm just gonna go to the PSK, import the PSA, uh, PSA here. So I'm just gonna go to game, uh, characters, campers. Um, oops, wrong, this is the wrong folder. Let me go to the, the Charms tutorial characters. Uh, campers, um, common, animations, female, anim anim sequences. Let's try the stand run animation. So we can keep adjusting this. So if you think this was not right, you can move it forward or you can rotate it. You can do whatever you want, but I'm not gonna do that because I think it looks okay. So I'm, let me just play through the animation. Okay. And we can see it looks okay. Yeah, so let me just, yeah, even at this point right here, it looks good. Looks good, looks good indeed. Okay, so I'm gonna call that one okay. But let's try it with a couple more. Most importantly, the sit on log animation is usually the difficult one because she's crouching downwards. So let me just go to Blender Projects, Game, Characters, Campers, Fang, Animation, sit on log. Let's try this one out. Yeah, it's decent. I can move it out a little bit by going R, R, Z, oops, R, Y, yeah. Okay, R, Y, and maybe R, X, R, Z, R, Z. Okay, yeah, maybe something like that. It doesn't really matter too much. It's probably gonna clip in this animation anyway. Let me just go back. So let me change this to an to a dope sheet and an uh, action editor. And let me just go back and change this animation to the stand run animation. Make sure it's still functioning. Yeah, it's still functioning. 
Yeah, so you can just adjust it basically. So if you have the constraints on the skeleton itself and not the mesh, then you can move the mesh itself, which is really good. Or you can use the child of constraint as well. Uh, let's just double check. Uh, is there anything else? Okay, like, yeah, let's double check the final animation, which is the, um, the, the injured stand run animation. So let me go to um, Survivor Charms, game, characters, campers, uh, common, animations, female, anim sequences, injured locomotion. Okay, yep, yeah, and as we can see, it works just fine. When I scroll through this animation, yeah, everything's working fine. Okay, yeah. So I'd say that's pretty much done. So that's how you attach charms. Um, hooks are even easier because you just you just move them to the actual place on the hook and the hook doesn't move because it's a static object. Um, but yeah, survivor charms are a little bit harder. So you can add a lot more charms if you wanted. You can scale this up or down by um, selecting the skeleton and then scaling it up or down if you really want. Um, but yeah, or selecting the mesh and scaling it down. Either way, anyway, I think that's this tutorial done. Thank you so much for being here. Anime Nyan out.